Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is an unofficial video, a kind of video of the vlog on the Atom Montage Engine. My name is Branislav Silas and I'm the developer of this technology and you are just watching the engine running on a mainstream notebook. There is Intel P7550 inside and NVIDIA GeForce GT 130M graphic card. So the notebook is not really new, um, but I have to know that the engine doesn't really utilize the capabilities of this uh, machine. Uh, the real-time part of the engine is a single core implementation and the accelerated part of the renderer doesn't even use shaders. Not yet. Uh, what we see here is a voxel based geometry and is a polygon based uh, vehicle model. So it's a kind of hybrid setup. Um, Atom Montage Engine is mainly a volumetric technology and it is Atom based in that it stores the volumetric data in form of many small atomic elements and that's mostly voxels. Um, I will show you the voxels. I have to turn off the DOF. Okay, these are the voxels. Uh, the good thing about voxels is that they can be changed by, for example, physics. So they are standalone physical entities and they can be changed by the user as well uh, in real time, of course. So this is easily possible. Uh, that's nothing special, but you can imagine more. Um, as you can see, Atom Montage Engine can render pretty complex geometry in real time. Uh, this is uh, per pixel geometry, and it can render sub pixel geometry as well. And that looks especially good with a uh, high level of super sampling. Super sampling is uh, pretty expensive. You can see that through the video camera. Um, it was often a problem with voxel engines that, uh, especially in close-ups, you could see the particular voxels and they look like small cubes and that's not really good. Now, in Atom Montage Engine, um, there is the DOF effect and, and the Bloom effect, and these two effects help pretty much in, in solving this problem. Okay, if this was a typical situation in a third person game, then, well, this is without the DOF and now it's on. So as we can see, the DOF effect is pretty effective in this. Uh, the engine is accelerated, at least part of it, so it's not a problem to apply this sort of effects and many new features of the GPUs could be used as well. Uh, this is a pre-shader implementation, so this DOF effect is pretty slow, but um, as you can see, it doesn't matter. Um, the Bloom effect helps pretty much in this kind of situation. Um, it is sometimes the case that the engine runs out of resources for a fraction of a second, for example. And in that case, it lowers the LOD of the rendered data. Now, in this situation, we would see a very clear set of voxelization, especially on the edge of the rock. And that wouldn't look really good, uh, but the bloom effect helps really much in this situation as in those uh, those parts of the screen uh, with the highest um, contrast where the voxels would be especially apparent uh, it uh, basically 
close them out. So um, both these effects are very effective and um, I think the voxels will never get really visible unless we uh, want it so.